Well, good afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. All right, so it is Tuesday, and you know on Tuesdays we have, of course, the rankings that come out in the NFL, which, quite frankly, really, it's a week-to-week -week thing. You know, you can go through and you can look at the power rankings and stuff from preseason and offseason and post-draft, and they really aren't any indication of where a team is actually going to be at the Super Bowl. You know, the odds in the Super Bowl will go up and down. In fact, it's kind of crazy because when I flew out in April um, to drive my daughter back home and help her move, I put $100 on the Cowboys to win the Super Bowl, and the odds were plus 2500 the odds are down now, I think, to about uh, 1500 or 2000 <clears throat> where Vegas is now thinking that there's better odds on the Cowboys to win the Super Bowl. So, of course, the payout's going to be less. If the Cowboys were to win the Super Bowl, um, Big Wizzy, I'll be back. I'll be back to see you, Big Wizzy, out there in Vegas because I would be there to cash in my ticket for $2,500. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. Let's hope the Cowboys win the Super Bowl because it will be a party in Vegas. But as we go through, the power rankings are beginning to actually give the Cowboys a little bit of credit. In fact, one of the few people that I'm really surprised really went overboard today, and that is one Stephen A. Smith. And I want to play his uh, A-list that he has with the Dallas Cowboys. And I don't know that the Cowboys have ever been on his A-list before, but let, let's listen to them real quick. He's office. Ooh, this is you in my office. Oh, he yeah, he's in your office. office. He took over my New I York office. I need a wider office. shot of that. I'm disgusted. Oh my goodness, I'm disgusted. All right, I'm going. I'm going to clear things up. All right. Are we ready for my list right now? You ready for the list, Jeff Saturday? Here we go. Number five on the list for this week. Give it to me, please. Bam. The Packers. Why? Because Aaron Rodgers looks like that dude again. As I always tell y'all. That dude. He's a bad man. I know he did it against my Steelers, which ain't saying much right now, considering how their offense looked and how many opportunities they put the defense out on the field, exhausting them and all of that stuff. But Aaron Rodgers looks great. Devontae Adams is no joke. Randall Cobb is making his contribution. Aaron Jones is handling his business. I can't dismiss anything from the Green Bay Packers. When you got Aaron Rodgers looking the way that he's looking, you are a top five team in the NFL. Give me number right. four, please. Hard to argue Give it to me Packers. right here. Bam! The Buffalo Bills. Why? I know their competition has been suspect, okay? They've won every game since losing the opener to the Pittsburgh Steelers. But I would remind y'all, whether it's Miami, whether it's the Houston Texans, the bottom line is they've got two shutouts on the season, and they've dropped at least 35 in each game. They're number one against the pass. They're number one in points allowed. They're number one in yards allowed. The defense is no joke, and the offense with Josh Allen, with Stephon Diggs and the crew, it's something to be reckoned with. We can't ignore it. They ain't this team, though. Give it to me. You know what Give time this me. is, Keyshawn. The Chargers. It's the Los Angeles Chargers. So fly is so fly. I got to give it to that stadium. The Rams and the Chargers home turf. But the Chargers with Justin Herbert looking like that dude, okay, with Keenan Allen, with Eklund and the crew, all right? You got Derwin James. You got Nick Bosa on the other side of the football. The bottom line is when you look at the Chargers, particularly after they beat down the, the, the Las Vegas Raiders last night, they look like a complete team, arguably the best team in the AFC at this particular moment in time. All right, here we gotta go, y'all. Are you ready? Are you ready? Number three. Give it to me at number two. Look at this. Don't question my objectivity, even though I can't stand their <laughs> fan base, the most disgusting, nauseating fan base in the history of American sports. I can't stand them. They make me want to throw up every day. But the bottom line is Dak looks special. Amari special. Cooper looks like that dude. CD Lamb is balling. And now Ezekiel Elliott has got the stuff churning after everybody was wondering whether or not he was still the best running back on their team to Tony Pollard. So I got to look at what I'm seeing right now. And Quinn has that defense. They up the ante a little bit anytime you got Makai Parsons playing the way he is. And as far as I'm concerned, right now, the defensive player of the year is that brother Trayvon Diggs 
Step on, step on Diggs, brother. Diggs is that dude wow. in Dallas. He is something special thus far. All right, had two interceptions Sunday. I got to give him love. I got the Dallas Cowboys at number two. And number one, you know who it is. It's the Arizona Cardinals. Why? Because Kyler Murray just looks like my reigning. He looks like my eminent league MVP okay. right now. You're looking at A.J. Green getting involved. You already know what you're going to get with DeAndre Hopkins. And that defense ain't no joke either, okay? The Arizona Cardinals are balling. They putting everybody on notice. They shellacked the Los Angeles Rams, which is why they've been removed from my top five. You're looking at it right now. These are the top five teams in the NFL for this week, okay? It's the Cardinals. It's the Cowboys. It's the Chargers. It's the Bills. It's mm-hmm. the Packers. That's Stevens' A-list for the week. Jeff Saturday and Keyshawn, you know what time it is. Give oh, your brother some snap. props. The floor is yours. I, I, look, uh, Jeff, I don't mind the list. I would organize it differently. I would take five and push that to one, right, Jeff? Because clearly the Green Bay Packers, in my opinion, is the best team in the National Football League because they got the best quarterback in the National Football League. But that's on me. That's just what I look at. And then when I talk about the Chargers, the best team in the NFC, I mean the AFC, I move them to number two. I got the Cowboys at three. And then I put Arizona at four. That's just my list, Stephen A. And then the Bills come in at five. But you can do what you need to do. It's okay. your list. Interesting. I'm just telling you. I'm, I'm telling you. I, I, I'd right actually now, like to go to Jeff Saturday and see what That's he's got. That's the way you constructed it. Teams are right. I just think you got it kind of confused a little bit. <sighs> go ahead, Jeff I, Saturday. I'm, I'm glad it's fluid. I'm glad it's fluid. You know what I mean? It's all about being fluid. You know what I mean? For Stephen <laughs> A., we got to keep it fluid. That's the best thing about your list. What What happened to the Chiefs? What ha- I mean, what are, a- we, are we taking them off? Are we taking? Yeah, we don't yeah. think we're going to in a row before beating the Eagles. We're going to say all of a sudden that we're not going. What I mean, we're not going to put them up there. We, we got no. no. Hey, we got no Browns. We got no Browns no. on our list. Yes. The, hey, listen. Mm. You are Ahead sleeping on the Cleveland. Hey, you sleep on the Cleveland Browns. We talk. Everybody wants to worry about Baker Mayfield and what his relationship with OBJ and all that kind of nonsense. They got mm-hmm. an offensive line and a defensive line that's dominating dominating right now and they're going to continue to get better when they find their way back and Landry gets back and gets healthy that is the team but they're continuing to win I mean they listen they've been embarrassing teams they're playing great up front you got to get them do some some respect now Steve like I, I get excited in the moment we want to throw the Chargers up there they've had two good weeks in a row but we don't forget the Chiefs don't forget them Browns you know what I mean like let's make sure we keep them on and I do like I do like Keyshawn hold on one sec I do like Keyshawn with the Packers. I think right now, if you said if the Cardinals and the Packers played each other, who would win that game? I would give the edge to the to the Green Bay Packers right now. It's a young yeah. offensive line. They've gotten better each and every week. They have been yeah. able to run that it's hill. Fluid. I understand how good the Cardinals are. Fluid. Once they yeah. fluid, but let's not forget. Let's mm. not forget. Let's not take the old man out because he's old. Just because Kyler Murray's doing some new things. Yeah. Don't forget about that Aaron Rodgers. Now he's still a dude. We it is, it week. Is fluid. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys, hold on, guys, hold on, guys. Week to week, yeah. the list is fluid. You go by very what much you see. so. That particular week, understanding that movement is a, is inevitable. So what, Aaron Rodgers and I'm looking that way right now. I got them top five, but they ain't looking like the Arizona Cardinals right but now. But they look at, but Stephen A. Oh. The Packers have been looking pretty damn good since that loss to New Orleans, man. Every single yeah. week, yeah, I know but they had that loss. I know all of that. Every week they look like they're getting ready to make some noise in the NFC. The Cowboys at the same time, they look like they're getting ready to make some noise. I understand Arizona went in to SoFi Stadium and handed the Rams a can of medicine. I get it. They They opened it up on the Rams. But I want to wait and see a little bit longer, man. I just need to see a little bit. Why do you need to wait? I feel you on that one. They they do it every day. You can move them if they don't show up. The Cardinals do that every single year, though. They show uh, yeah, out every single year with this offense. And here, here's the here's the other thing. Oops. Up, oh, we lost. Up, uh, hold on. For me, the, the Chargers. I know you're excited because they had a Monday night win. Everybody's excited. They beat they beat Derek Carr and the Raiders and all that kind of stuff. I would not put them right now. I would not put them above the Cleveland Browns. 
I would put the Browns up above the Chargers right now. I think for the for the team and where they are now, the Chargers may continue Jeff, to, why to, you just to, tell the to, truth, Jeff? to excel. Why don't you just tell the truth? You know what this is about. You you a Super Bowl champion as a lineman. You understand what I'm saying? You're biased, Jeff Saturday. You're biased no. because okay. of what you said about all, all the right. stuff going on in Cleveland, and you bring up. All right, so here's the the question for you. Are the Dallas Cowboys actually a top five team in the NFL right now as constructed? The thing for me for the Cowboys is the thing that's amazing is, one, the turnaround on defense. We've always had really good offense that can score points, but rarely do we have a defense that's able to take away the football and shut other teams down. Seems like the Cowboys have that going on right now really, really well, and that will bode well. You know, last year had we had this defense right here, we wouldn't have lost a game the the first five games that Dak Prescott was there. We would not have lost a game. We would have been kicking ass against everybody because we were giving up 36.3 points a game those first games with Dak Prescott. So from that standpoint, yes. The other amazing thing that the Cowboys have actually been able to do with the lack of reps in preseason – To have had guys, when you think that Demarcus Lawrence, who was clearly the leader of our defense, him to have been out all that he has been already for uh, three games, to think that you had lost um, Randy Gregory, that you lost Bradley and I, that you lost Donovan Wilson, that you've lost Michael Gallup, that you've lost um, Lyle Collins for the last three games, that you lost Zach Martin for a game, that you've been able to weather the storm of losing players and literally have depth. And the good thing for the Cowboys is they didn't lose any on Novell Gallimore too. They didn't lose any of these guys for the season. And as you've heard, you know, people losing players, you know, for the season, the Cowboys have a wave of personnel that's coming back to them. The other thing that you have to take in consideration too, as we look at the schedule, knowing that we still have, You know, the Giants twice, we have Washington twice, we have the Eagles one more time. That right there, and I'm not saying that we're going to win all those games, but right now when you're looking at the NFC East and looking at those guys, you're not looking at them being juggernauts. The schedule favors the Cowboys. When you look at the best teams out there, Kansas City no longer scares you as much. Kansas City is still great. Their offense is always going to be great with Pat Mahomes, but their defense is Dallas-like last year they're very poor they give up a lot of yards so you start looking at that a little differently at that game the Raiders have been playing an extremely high level but then the Chargers went in there and showed you yeah not quite as good as they thought they were and maybe they're not quite as good we know the Denver they started out three and oh uh but the victories that they had weren't exactly against the great teams in the NFL when you're talking about the Jets the Jags and, of course, um, uh, the Giants. So, you know, you're looking at the schedule where the Cardinals, Kansas City, are probably the worst games left on your schedule. You've got the New Englands. You've got the Minnesotas. You've got um, the Denvers. You've got um, the Raiders. You've got um, Atlanta still. In New Orleans, we don't know what is. The Cowboys could actually pound up on a lot of these teams and beat teams that you're supposed to beat. And because they are in that weaker division and because of that schedule, pile up some wins and who knows what happens then. Who knows what happens then. So right now, at this moment, a quarter way of the season, yeah, you have to look at the Cowboys and say, okay, they've got some stuff here to work with. There's no guarantees. And that's why it's called a bet when you put your money down on it. But since it is the Giants cockroach week, I want to end this video with this. Field goal attempt, third and four, 48-yard field goal attempt. He missed it! He missed it! What? What? No! What? No! 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 Oh, wait, there's a flag. Wait, there's a flag. If, if it's on, if There's it's a on, flag. If Hold on. on the Giants, There's a flag. On the Hold, on. No Hold on. Hold on. Are you are, are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? It's on the Giants. It's on the Giants. Wait a minute. Hold on. 
If it's on the Giants, that means he gets another yeah. chance. To kick Hold on. Him. What's the penalty? Yeah. I think he's. I think he, I think another chance. It's on the defense. He gets no oh my he god! Gets but look at Pizzle. Look at Pizzle. He gets an opportunity. Look at Pizzle. He gets an opportunity because it was on the defense. Oh my he god! He gets the opportunity. He jumped oh, in the. New, oh my go. god! Pizzle literally has not There's moved. No way Somebody check on Pizzle. Look, look at Pizzle. Look at my man. He's ejected. Oh He's my. Ejected. He like. He's like what? what? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh. Pizzle. 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 Look at Pizzle. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's good. And that's two hundred dollars. That's two hundred dollars. Shout out. Oh Bizzle. Bizzle's in state of shock. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Look at this! Oh my God! Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it! Oh my God! Poor Pizzle! Poor oh! Pizzle, I'm sorry, man. I feel bad for you. Oh my God! Pizzle, no! Pizzle! I think he's like, holy snap! He's 